morning. If you can hear screaming, it's because the nursery for key workers' kids um, has opened downstairs and they're all out in the sunshine playing. Um, I hadn't planned on making a video about this this, uh, this week, but one of you sent me a YouTube clip of a soap opera called Crossroads that I was in, gosh, in the very early 80s. Now, a lot of you watching this will have never have heard of Crossroads, but a lot of you will have done. And the irony of this is, I was in Crossroads on and off for four years as a recurring character. And in its heyday, it was on five nights a week, and we were performing to 15 million viewers a night. 15 million. And it was on at 6.30 at night, and it was known, people were, it was almost, people watched it for, well, some people watched it because they genuinely loved it, others watched it because it was so bad that it was entertaining. In fact, if any of you are fans of Acorn Antiques, the, the, the theory is it was based on Crossroads, where sets would shift and um, episodes would underrun and you'd actually improvise to fill the space. Um, and in fact, when I first went in it, there was no editing. So we performed live, not live, I mean, they, they shot in sequence. And if you forgot your lines, they literally would prompt you with the sound down. I'm not kidding. Um, and that's what was, it was like when I first went into it. But anyway, this episode, I thought they'd all been wiped. And I loved being in Crossroads. I'd left drama school. And when I was at drama school, most of the people I, were, I was at drama school with wanted to go into the Royal Shakespeare Company. They wanted to do films. I wanted to be in Crossroads. My granny listened to it 6.30 every night. This tune would go and um, the nation would sit down and watch it. So I was thrilled when I landed the job. The episode that is on YouTube, I am... Um, now, Philippe, I don't know how, how we're going to do this because you're going to have to insert it and I'm going to talk about it. It's, I think, probably my third episode, I think. Um, and let me just tell you a little bit. I end up as the very early Kylie Minogue, and I think Kylie Minogue's character in Neighbours was based, because it was basically the same production company, I think it was based on the character I played in Cross, Crossroads. So I ended up being a car mechanic in the motel, but I started out by being the housekeeper to the, um, well, the, not the owner, the manager of the motel, who was Mr. Hunter, Mr. and Mrs. Hunter, in their coach house. I was an inappropriate young, I think I was playing 17. In real life, I'd just got married, but I think my playing age was 17. Anyway, let's have a look at this episode and I will tell you exactly what was happening. Evening. Mr. Hunter. Uh, I'd like you to meet Carol Sands. This is uh, Diane Hunter. I'm pleased to meet you. How do you do? So. How are you liking it here? Oh, it's great, I think. So, the nerves by this stage is, I'm right towards the end of the episode. So this, this scene comes towards the end of the episode. So I've been waiting on the set to do this since action, right at the top of the episode. So the nerves build up, build up, build up, build up. And then you are cued, and I'm sitting here reading a magazine in what was actually my husband's baseball shirt and my own dungarees and an apron lent to me by my friend Susie, who still has that apron. You had to supply your own clothes. Can you believe this? Anyway, Mr. Hunter, Ronnie Allen, comes home with Sue Hansen. And these are two legends of Crossroads. They are, they're like the royal family of Crossroads. What I find interesting in this scene is I have absolutely no idea where the cameras are. I don't know how to time it. I don't know when the camera's on me. What I do is just keep acting, keep acting, keep acting, hoping the camera's gonna pick up something. Oh, Mrs. Hunter rung from London. She says she'll take a taxi from the station. She should be in any time now. Uh, thank you. 
You did say there would be enough food for three. Yeah, boiled ham and parsley sauce. Sounds great. Well, maybe she's changed her mind, wants me to pick her up from the station. Excuse me. Would you give Mrs. Hunter a drink, please? Yeah, what would you well, like? Uh, They've got everything, really. Uh, I'll have a shot. Uh, no, no, she's not. Sweet? Uh, no, medium. Where is that accent from? It's based somewhere in the north. I couldn't do a Brummie accent, which is what they originally wanted, so I did a sort of northern, a sort of northern. Mrs. Hunter. Oh, yes, I, uh, I used to be married to Mr. Hunter's son. Oh. Isn't it strange whenever anyone leaves a message saying it's urgent, they always mean it's urgent for them. Thank you. Oh, ta. Blimey, you're learning fast, aren't you? That's quite a compliment coming from there. Uh, do sit down. When we had a restaurant, she used to run out of the kitchen or the dining room almost single-handed. Oh, you work there too at the motel? Uh, well, I'm just a glorified waitress, really. <laughs> Mind you, since the fire, not so glorified, eh? Mm, I tried for some waitressing jobs once, but it was hopeless. Well, it's a bit difficult love around here. You see, we've let most of our casuals go. Mm. This is the best bit. This is pure acorn antiques. Wait until I go off to stir the parsley sauce. Well, I'll get on with the sauce. So I suppose, uh, I suppose we'll be having lots of new staff now, you know, we're going back into full operation. Mm, yes, it shouldn't be too difficult with unemployment at this level. That doesn't help Mr Chance much, you know. Extraordinary. You know he's advertised for a new garage mechanic. Oh, good uh, car mechanics aren't easy to come by, I understand, but I thought he was getting by with Mac as a foreman. Well, Mac's doing his best, but there's a lot to work on. And I mean, they don't want to turn customers away, do they? All the problems in that garage, I'm surprised he can afford another salary. Well, apparently, he's going to give them one ten a week, basic. One ten a week, is that what Mac gets? Well, they'll get more when he's acting for them. This scene in the kitchen, there is a camera right up my nose. I still didn't really know when it was on me and when it wasn't, so I just kept acting, thinking at some point they'll pick something up and then went back into the scene. Ten a week. Not bad at all. Mr Hunter, I couldn't help overhearing, but do you really think £110 is that much? I mean, for today? For a man? Or would you work for it? Talk as though it's a fortune or something, but would you? It's a completely different job. Right, because you're the boss. Are you in a union? No. Oh, I should see what a union could do for you. Now they lay the clues that they are looking for a mechanic and that's in fact the role I end up getting. But also the fact that my father in the soap opera was a union man and eventually, I think two years in, they brought in an actor to play my father and an actor to play my brother. Miss Sands comes from a strong union family. Yeah, my dad's a shop steward. He's burnt. Then I suggest you turn the heat off. Uh, go with that temperament. We'll be more at home in South America, or perhaps you agree with her. Well, I could just simply see her point of view, that's all. Do I have to? I'm her employer. I'm not paying her to give me a lecture on industrial relations. I'm paying her to burn the parsley sauce. <laughs> I told Barbara this would happen. It's embarrassing for me. Guests in my own home. Oh, Mr. Hunter, I'm hardly a guest, am I? I mean, I'm, I'm part of the family, aren't well, I? The principle's the same. We're both embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed, honest. We're going to have a word with that young lady. Uh, Mr. Hunter, uh, don't do it in front of me, eh? Right. I'll certainly speak to her later. Now, by today's standards, if you look at the I don't think the, act, it, the acting wasn't that bad, it was the production values because, as I say, there was no editing, we were churning out five a week, and that's a lot. And um, I suppose we had four writers and four directors and they rotated, so in the end the writers would write for you, and that's when I really started to love it because the writers wrote for my character. So, the irony of this is, People from time to time say, were you in Crossroads? And I used to be a little bit embarrassed because in those days, to be in a soap, to be in a bad soap, um, 
I meant you probably, when you came out of it, didn't get a lot of work. I got loads of work. I got loads of tours, uh, theatre work, on the back of being Carol Sands in Crossroads. I didn't get much telly work at all. Um, but nowadays, if you're in a soap, it's, you know, people don't think any less of you. Um, I absolutely loved being in Birmingham. I lived up in Birmingham and I would drive back at the weekends to London. I was married at the time. Uh, my husband, he resented a little bit the recognition in the end, because if you are appearing in front of 15 million people a night, you are recognised. I, you know, I remember when my first episode went out and I was walking along the Edgbaston Road in Birmingham and a car just stopped and said, I saw you tonight on Crossroads and it was a young kid and his girlfriend. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I've never been recognised ever. And that continued and continued. And my ex-husband said he felt a bit like Dennis Thatcher, but um, you know, he's an actor. Live with it. Anyway, I'm so chuffed that it's on here. I really am. I don't know how many other episodes. Like, I honestly thought they were all going to go. The other thing is, beauty is wasted on the young, isn't it? When I think what I do to my neck and my jowls, my profile, I loved my profile, and it just drops, it just goes, and there's nothing is going to bring that back. And I was ignorant as to how I looked. I really didn't realise, but everyone who's young is beautiful. So yes, Crossroads, give us a thumbs up. I'm nearly at 21,000 subscribers. There was a time when I had 15 million followers. Wouldn't that be amazing if I got all those Crossroads fans to subscribe to this channel? See you Sunday.